section 47, subsection 2 of the Electoral Act 2022, makes it mandatory that to vote, the presiding officer shall use a smart card reader or any other technological device that may be prescribed by the Commission for the accreditation of voters to verify, confirm, or authenticate the particulars of the intending voter in the manner prescribed by the Commission. So the use of the beavers is a mandatory provision of the law and is not an option of charity. The Commission does not have a discretion on whether to use the beavers or not. The law says that we shall and must use the beavers, and this Commission is committed to using the beavers because we spend so much time, we spend so much energy, and we spend resources in putting together the beavers. The beavers was developed by the Commission's in-house engineers as a way of making sure that identity, uh, 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 identity theft is minimized as much as possible at our pooling unit. So we cannot spend time, resources to develop the beavers and then throw it away and say we won't use it again. It, don't, it doesn't make sense. So the beavers has come to stay and we are going to continue to use the beavers in all our elections. The Commission will also transmit pooling unit level results in real time. The transmission of pooling unit level results is also a mandatory provision of, of the law as section 64 subsection 4 of the Electoral Act has made it mandatory. We canvass for the inclusion of the beavers and the electronic transmission of results in the Electoral Act. We therefore have a responsibility to keep faith with our own innovations and at the conduct of transparent elections driven and prepared by technology. Section 